everyone. I am Marie from Canadian Kangen Water and I am going to show you how to clean an SD501 Platinum. Same as the SD501 just has the platinum cover on it or the stainless steel cover on it. So I wanted to share with you what I do first. Um, first off, I actually pour off four liters of water. That way I have water in the fridge um, for the time that I have the machine on soak. Okay, so another thing that I can show you is how I have my machine set up. A lot of people will set it up on their tap. I set mine up on a cold water tea from underneath the sink. So when I turn on my water, let's put this down here, I turn it on from here. And there it is. So for anyone that's struggling or has um, maybe people that aren't interested in having this on, oops, here's my SD501. I have a jug that I'm going to use for this. I have my citric acid powder. And for my machine, I use a CPUN. There are two different types of these cartridges. So what you have to do is uh, look at your filter. If your filter has HGN on it, then you need the CPUN. Just that it stands for new, okay? If you're using an older filter, then you will be just using the red lettered CPU. Okay, so let's clean this platinum. So, number one, you want to turn off the machine and let it power down. Number two, you're going to unplug the machine completely from the power source. There we go. Okay, so now that your machine is unplugged, you're gonna take this cartridge here, untwist it, or untwist it. I always cut this on an angle, makes it a little bit easier to pour. And pour the entire package oh, right in there. Now what this is going to do is this is going to soak the interior, the, the electrolysis chamber, with a citric acid solution that's going to take off any scale off of your plates. So you just want to put that right back on there. Next we're going to take the machine apart. Now I always take this part out and check my level. See where my the ball is there. So I still have some electrolysis enhancer in there. I'm going to turn this to, re to remove, pull this out, and put it aside. It's very, very important to turn this back to the lock position or else you will leak water everywhere. Next, I'm going to use the instructions here for remove and install. I'm going to move this that way and pull this up. And I'm going to take the filter out. Really important, guys, is you want to make sure you have your O-rings on the bottom of your filter. Otherwise, they're stuck in there, and that doesn't go with these O-rings. Okay, so now I've got two O-rings here. I've got my citric acid in there. So I'm going to put this in, just like I do with the filter. Put this back on top of it. Make sure that it's flush and on there correctly. And then just snap it into place. Okay, make sure that's nice and tight, the top, okay. Now, with this, I'm going to take both of my hoses, and I'm going to put them in this jug, because what this is going to do, I'm going to run the water, and this is going to hold the water inside the machine completely because you can get scale in the back part of the electrolysis here. 
as well as in the tubes. So we're going to take off the mineral scale by running the citric acid through the machine. Then you just run the water and watch for this jug to start filling up. I want to have the water reach both the alkaline and the acidic pipes or tubes. And now you just leave that sit. So you leave that sit for, I usually will do this overnight. Um, I'll do it at, at, at 10 o'clock at night and leave it sit until 8 or 9 the next morning. All right guys, so the machine is clean. So I tested the water that's in here, and this is the color. So that means my citric acid is back here, all through here and in here, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I've had this soaking since last night. So all of the scale from my hard water, is going to be loosened up back there. So now what we want to do is we want to run the water. I'm going to stick this, whoop, stick this back on here. Okay, maybe not. We'll just leave that there for now. Okay, so now what we're going to do is run the water. Now I'm going to keep my little shot glass here because I'm going to run this water and then I'm going to use my drops that came with your machine to test the water and make sure all the citric acid is out of there. Okay, so I've got this. Yep, looking good, because that's the color of tap water in Sylvan Lake. So it's as easy as that. You don't need to run the machine forever. You just need to run it so that all the water out of here is, um, is run through. I'm going to turn it on again and give a good push. I turn it on full blast, so I push a lot of water through there. Do that a couple of times. And just go full blast, okay? So then what I'm going to do is take this off and put my filter back on. Make sure your O-rings are on the bottom again. O-rings on there. So that helps with not making a mess with a bunch of water. Okay, that's on there. Put my ring back on, spin it around until it feels flush. There it is. Okay, so it's all flush there. I'm gonna run it again, just in case my filter dried out. For another minute or so, I'm gonna test my water. It's turned the color of tap water. So you should always know what your tap water looks like. Mine is a random eight. It has its natural water um, with no additives. So it is a round and eight. So that's good. And then that's it. You just plug it back in. Put the front back on and you're done.